थॉट्स ऑन यूजेनिक्स यूजेनिक्स की डिटेल में जाने से पहले हम ये देखेंगे व्हाट इज यूजेनिक्स यूजेनिक्स इज डिराइव फ्रॉम अ ग्रीक वर्ड दैट मीन्स वेल बॉर्न इट कैन बी सिंपली टेकन एज वेल गुड सो इन ग्रीक लैंग्वेज वी कैन एक्सप्लेन यू जेनिक्स इन गुड टर्म्स सो इट इज अ बिलीव और अ प्रैक्टिस दैट इम्प्रूव द जेनेटिक क्वालिटी ऑफ ह्यूमन पॉपुलेशन बट कीप इन माइंड के यू जेनिक्स टर्म इक्कीसवीं सदी की नहीं है बट इट बिगैन इन ट्वेंटी एथ सेंचुरी नाउ देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ यू जेनिक्स क्लासिकल यू जेनिक्स एंड न्यू यू जेनिक्स before going into the detail of classical eugenics i want to explain that you classical eugenics is subdivided into negative eugenics that is the reduction of population positive eugenics that is the increase in the reproductive rate and the license for parenthood so these are the sub types of classical eugenics we will mainly focus on negative eugenics and on positive eugenics so first let's talk about the negative eugenics negative eugenics reduces the population and it can be done by two ways either by reduction of unplanned pregnancies or by giving incentives and compulsions so what are the ways by which we can reduce unplanned pregnancies this is by giving sex education in schools then clinical based education sterilization research for best contraceptives so these are the different ways by which we can reduce unplanned pregnancies then second one are the incentives and compulsions either we give incentives to the people for sterilization especially for male and female criminals and incentives are also given to those mentally retarded people uh, who cannot manage in adulthood so uh, sterilization is very important the second sub type of classical eugenics is positive eugenics that is how we can increase the reproductive rate in different countries for example in canada there is financial selective incentives to have children there is separate incentive for e children and for those parents who are childless taxation is a very important issue ethical obligations of the elite are there then eugenic immigration is an important component of positive eugenics nowadays we always talk about the new eugenics that is egg donation we can donate egg uh, through in vitro fertilization then prenatal diagnosis that is the diagnosis of genetic disorder before birth embryo selection for treating different diseases such as beta thalassemia genetic engineering that is genetic modification alteration in the genetic material gene therapy that is the introduction of the mutated gene into the uh, patient body and the third one is the uh, last one is the cloning uh, through cloning we can uh, use the technique nuclear transfer and nuclear transfer can transfer the whole nuclei from one individual to an other now number of ethical issues are related with eugenics not only ethical but also the social and legal issues some people say it is inevitably leads to measures that are unethical जर्मनी में नाजी के दौर पे यूजेनिक्स का बहुत दौर था लेकिन अब यूजेनिक्स थॉट को कम कर दिया गया है स्पेशली क्लासिकल यूजेनिक्स नाउ वी आर मोस्टली डीलिंग विद न्यू यूजेनिक्स एंड विद डिफरेंट टेक्निक्स सो ड्यू टू द एडवांसमेंट इन जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग नाउ जेनेटिक डायग्नोसिस प्री नेटल डायग्नोसिस इज अवेलेबल सो यूजेनिक्स इज नो लॉन्गर एक्सपोज फैक्टो रेगुलेशन ऑफ द लिविंग but it is a preemptive action on the unborn kyunki unborn fetus apna consent nahi de sakta apni opinion nahi de sakta unborn fetus lack the voice of consent now number of public policy issues are associated with eugenics that has to be addressed according to gender and race then there is a correlation between the eugenics and the political aspects so we have to discuss political issues in the thoughts of eugenics as well 
Similarly, the issues of morality and power arises. Whenever we talk about the moral values, we always talk about the good and bad. The last ethical issue that is related with eugenics is the loss of genetic diversity. I will explain different examples that genetic diversity eugenics ki se kaise decrease hoti ja rahi hai. Let's take an example of pleiotropic gene. Pleiotropic gene wo genes hain jin mein sirf ek gene defective hai lekin uske multiple effects hain on the phenotypic traits. Simply aap example le lein pheno, phenyl ketone urea jis mein sirf ek gene defective hai lekin multiple systems ko affect kar rahi hai. Then the second example that leads to the loss of genetic diversity is the heterozygous recessive trait. For example, heterozygous tests are used to identify genetic disorders and through this physicians can counsel the parents that about the risk of having the disease in the future babies. So here the recessive traits are reduced through these heterozygous tests but the recessive traits cannot be eliminated unless and until we have the complete knowledge about the human genome.